So the Montessori classroom is ideal for all different types of learners because it, it allows us to individualize the program for each child. So whether that child need assistance with certain areas of the curriculum, we can provide that through an individualized program. All of our materials offer a three-year age range curriculum. In the classroom, that child might be in a certain area in the math curriculum, for example, and they may be in a different area in the language curriculum, but that child does not stand out. We're able to meet that child's needs without making them feel like they are different than their peers because every single child is doing a different thing in the classroom. The other thing is that they are able to go at their own pace. They may spend longer than others on a topic that's harder for them, and that's okay. They can repeat it, they can stay with it as long as they need to. They don't need to be moved on or rushed on to the next concept before they have mastered the previous one. The same can be said of a learner that comes in here who is struggling because they're being held back because the rest of their peers are on a topic and they have already mastered that and are interested in furthering their knowledge on that subject. And so we have the opportunity for that child to continue to challenge themselves, to bring in other sort of hands-on materials, other opportunities for them to reach out and learn more about that subject. They don't have to wait for others to also be on that level. The way that we keep track of how children are learning, because they're all learning at their own pace, we have a computerized database that gives us the opportunity to record where each child is individually within the curriculum. We do this through observation, so we will introduce a concept to a child and then we will observe how that child responds. Are they able to do it independently? Um, do they have further questions? Are they interested in exploring it further? Those are all areas that we mark and record within that database. So we're able to share that with parents, we're able to share that with teachers, and we're able to even know that as a teacher ourselves so that we can bring more of a conversation to that child and say, here's where you're at, especially at the elementary age. We involve them in choosing their path of learning. And that is another plus about here, they do get a lot more one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher, the student does, but also the parents do. The parents get a lot of communication from the teacher. And that's another thing that I was very pleased and excited about with the school here is that they very much want the parent to come alongside and communicate about their child so that there's a teamwork. It's not like you're isolated and you don't know what your child's going through or what is being explained or taught. The Montessori environment has been a really good fit for children who are struggling socially. Maybe because they're shy or maybe they feel hesitant to join a group of peers. The environment is conducive to a peaceful space. It's orderly, it's calm, it's well designed with beautiful things in it. There's a strong emphasis on helping children to connect with each other and to connect with the teacher throughout the day. It's also a very quiet, smaller environment than a larger school would be. So it's been our experience that children who are quiet will open up a little bit more because their voice can be heard and they can really make true connections with other children. So it's a good environment for children who may be experiencing anxiety at school. A process that we have for peaceful conflict resolution. So if there are any conflicts that do come up, the teacher is constantly modeling and introducing ways to solve conflicts peacefully. The teacher's also providing opportunities for children to get to know each other of different ages. So there's less of an environment of competition where they're all the same age and they're separating off into smaller groups. A lot of observers have commented when they've seen our children outside, because we provide a lot of opportunity for free outdoor play, there's that time for children to connect with one another. And we see a beautiful community of children who are able to play and interact well and cooperatively and kindly with each other, even though they're all different ages. The Montessori environment is, is also a good fit for children who struggle with attention or focus. One of them is that they are allowed freedom of movement, which is really key for children who need to move around a lot. And so throughout their day, they're moving, they're interacting with things with their hands. They also have a lot of choice as to what they are interested in learning in and what they want to pursue and when they learn it and how they learn it. And then the teacher is that guide and support for them as they go through their day. 
The second way that it's helpful for children to struggle with attention and focus is that the curriculum actually is designed to increase focus. So there's many ways that we do that. Um, we um, allow for like a slow rhythm in the day. There's very minimal transitions. And so there's enough time for them to get into a piece of work, get into a material, and to linger with that material if they need to, and they have as much time as they need to to finish it, and they know they're not going to be constantly interrupted. And so that actually helps to lengthen their attention span. Another way that we do that through our program is we have actual mindfulness exercises incorporated throughout the day. And our forest program is a huge part of that. In the forest program, a lot of the forest program routines will build in mindfulness exercises such as the sit spot. I've seen it in the children that I've seen over the, the three years that have been in our program. Um, I've seen their attention span increase. I've seen their awareness of the world open up what they might have ran by the first year and not noticed, they're stopping and looking and considering and uh, reflecting on more than they ever had because we built that into their routine. So when they come in in grade one, I will have them for six years, right? There is high motivation there to, to forge a real solid relationship with that, not just that child, that person. Right? They're going to be a very different child when they leave and you know, we want the best for them. Yes, academically, we believe in academics, we're teachers, this is a school, but really for them as people, we want them to grow as people and to really meet their full potential and to know who they are when they leave.